the risk of cancer in young adults is rising at an alarming rate. Why is this happening and what can we do to lower our risk? Really quick, I can think of a few things that I could do to help improve my health. I need to soak in some more vitamin D. Going to bed earlier. <sighs> I should drink more water. Hey, Bruce TV. My name is Kelly. I'm a registered dental hygienist and a proud Bruce ambassador. <sighs> some studies have suggested that bad oral hygiene habits can lead to major diseases including cancer. So here I am today to share with you how to limit your risk. Now, the incidence of cancer for people under 50 has risen significantly since the 1990s, a new study found. Risks for certain cancers differ based on age, but the researchers found general increases in liver, colorectal, stomach, and breast cancer, among others. Though the study didn't explain why these increases may be happening, experts say the more screening and lifestyle factors could be to blame. More specifically in the mouth, Fusobacterium nucleatum, say that five times, produces an adhesive protein, which bind to epithelial and endothelial cells. The last binding activates oncogenic pathways in oral and colorectal carcinogenesis. I can't say that five times fast, hard, or even just try saying it once. Okay, in simpler terms, it really matters what kind of bacteria is in your mouth. And it is crucial to share with you that the mouth is the gateway to the entire body. It is the fastest way for bacteria to get into your bloodstream. Thus is why people who use chew or nicotine pouches or products because they're so addictive. You start to feel the drug almost instantly because that's how fast it's absorbed. Point being, if your mouth is not in a healthy state, we need to talk. It's not normal to taste or see blood when you're brushing or flossing. If you do, you need to slow down. Make sure you're brushing for that full two minutes, morning and nighttime, and flossing daily. And if you don't like string floss, try a water flosser. If you stick out your tongue, and it's coated with a film, start to clean your tongue daily with either a tongue scraper or a toothbrush. Always, I repeat, always start at the base of your tongue and move to the tip. Never use a tongue scraper back and forth like this. You're only moving the bacteria away and you're not eliminating it. So each time you start at the base, go to the tip and then rinse it off and then repeat. This is missed, but add an oral probiotic. This really helps incorporate the good bacteria to fight the bad bacteria. By improving our oral health and following these steps, it will improve our whole entire systemic system. The less inflammation and bacteria in our mouth will really help our immune system do its job. Now, making a decision today to live a healthier life really, truly lowers your risk of getting cancer. Saying goodbye to any smoking or nicotine drug, drinking alcohol, or consuming high sugary drugs daily. Instead, start moving your body every single day eating healthy, and incorporating a diet that really helps enrich your gut microbiome. Prevention is key, so screening and checkups. And recognize that some of these things that you saw in your grandparents or older relatives starting to happen in younger people. Comment down below changes you've made to live a healthier lifestyle. It's not easy, but it's worth it to live a happier and healthier and more beautiful life. And come back every Thursday to a new video. <laughs> Bye guys.